Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are leaving a dispersed campsite that we ended video one at. This is video two of our adventure from Crystal Springs Recreation Area to Hickory Nut Vista and Campground. This adventure started off of Highway 27 and we head west past Highway 270 to the Hickory Nut Mountain area. As we leave this dispersed campsite, we do pass a few other dispersed campsites along the route. And as I said earlier, this part of this video will end at another big dispersed campsite that I really liked. We crossed a few streams, followed some creeks and some bridges, and we go to Collier Springs. We didn't capture any video while we were at Collier Springs, but we did take some pictures of the spring and the area. The water is actually flowing, but where it was hitting the concrete and the rock, and it was froze, so we did get some pictures of some ice. This is a really cool area to check out, and you can have a picnic here if you'd like to. There is a picnic table. But it's just a really cool area. And like I said, we do have some video of this area in our channel from previous visit. We left Collier Springs and drove a little bit uphill. Pretty deep valley off to the left as we travel up the road. But we do find another, actually two dispersed campsites right across the street from each other. And one of them is pretty small. The one on the left goes up a hill, which is a lot of rock and gravel. And when it gets to the top, it kind of flattens out. There's an area you could use a ground tent if you wanted to. And there's room to park up there. Uh, I did see that there was a fire ring built. So people have been going up there camping. Before we left that area, I did find some beer cans somebody had thrown out on the road. So we picked those up and put them in a bag and, and stuck them in the back of the Jeep. I don't like picking up open beer cans putting inside my vehicle and I had every intention on finding a trash can somewhere before we headed home to get rid of them. Everybody needs to be sure that they take their trash with them when they visit these areas and don't throw them out the window and leave them in these areas. It's a good way for these areas to get shut down where nobody can enjoy them anymore. People should be smart enough to figure this out themselves. Anyway, these were some nice campsites, but we didn't stick around long. We went ahead and continued on up the road, headed toward Hickory Nut. On our way, we passed Twin Creek Crystal Mine and Ashley got out to take a picture. There's actually some big boulders right in this area and Ashley got out to take some pictures and found a crystal laying right there on the road that was pretty nice. So of course we snagged it and brought it home with us. I did add some pictures of some crystals that we found in the area but I wasn't sure where she put the crystal she found so it's not a picture of that particular crystal. Okay, after taking those pictures of those big rocks which are very cool we went ahead and passed the Twin Creek Crystal Mine and continued on with our journey. We passed several more dispersed campsites along the way. Had some awesome views and continued to enjoy the ride in the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. Again, the Washita National Forest did not disappoint. This is a awesome adventure.
just left Collier Springs and this is a little camp spot you can pull off in. There's the fire pit right over there. Just a small spot, just big enough to pull in right up from Collier Springs. And then if you look across the road, I haven't been up there yet, but I'm pretty sure this is another area that people are pulling in camping. A little rough getting right up in here. Once you get up this hill, there's kind of a circle. There's a fire pit. So there's room to pull over there. There's room to pull over here, and there's a place you could set a tent up on this hill. So that's pretty cool. And I said, you see where you park down there? But I'm gonna get back in the Jeep. And we're gonna continue toward Hickory Nut Mountain. We're enjoying the views. And there's a lot of views along this route. That we're not sharing with you just because I'm trying to drive and if I kept stopping at every spot there is a good view we never get this done so it's leave more for y'all to experience on your own I see some somebody left some beer cans I am gonna pick them up but I hate putting open beer cans in my vehicle because if you ever get stopped you had to explain why they're in your vehicle. Maybe we'll find a trash can up on Hickory Nut where we can throw them away. But I'm gonna go back and get them and we're gonna continue on. <laughs>
Well, you're in the right spot if you want to find beautiful rocks. Arkansas is one of the only places in the world with a large enough quartz supply to justify commercial mining, not to mention the dozens of public mines. Mines have been established all along the quartz belt that runs through the Ouachita Mountains. It's believed that only 4% of the state's quartz has been removed. If you're a fan of Arkansas, rock hounding, you need to go to Twin Creeks Crystal Mine. You will be digging in an active mine site, not the tellings from another site. The quartz crystals come in a variety of sizes as well. You may uncover what's called a panum. These crystals have been broken but continue to grow, giving them a crystal within a crystal look. During your dig, you're wanting to look for a dark red or gray clay because these clumps are more likely to hold quartz. Be sure to turn over rocks and don't be afraid to get a little dirty. Twin Creek Crystal Mine is open every day but Christmas Day. During the winter hours, they're open 8 a.m. through 4 p.m. Adults are about $25 and ages 10 and under $15 to dig crystals in Arkansas. You can bring your own tools or rent some from the mine. Whether you're digging for crystals, driving forest roads, checking out the streams and the views, you're going to have a great time in the Ouachita National Forest exploring, being outside with nature.
hope you're enjoying the video so far as we adventure toward the next dispersed campsite that will end this particular video. But stay tuned for the next video because as we leave the dispersed campsite, we will finish heading toward Hickory Nut Mountain Vista and Campground. So be sure to stay tuned for that video to come next. This has been an awful fun adventure and I hope you get the opportunity to make it yourself. Be sure to hit that subscribe button while you're here and share these videos with your friends. We appreciate everybody helping us out on our social media accounts. There's definitely not a shortage of dispersed campsites along this route. We have shared some of them with you and like the one we just drove through, you will find these spread out along this route. We pinned several so we can come back and check them out at a later time. Finding dispersed campsites like this is a lot of fun to me. It's one of the reasons I like driving these forest roads just to find unique places to disperse camp and we have found some exceptional areas to disperse camp. We look forward to spending some time at them in 2023. We have picked up some new camping equipment and gear and look forward to trying this gear out 
while we're doing our dispersed camping next year. And we look forward to being able to share these adventures with all of y'all. And we hope that you will continue to follow along into 2023 and beyond. We hope that you watching our videos has encouraged you to make plans to get out more in 2023 and enjoy nature. Between our videos, our social media accounts, sharing routes on Onyx Off-Road, there's plenty of information to give you some ideas of where you can go in Arkansas and other states to explore and have fun. We look forward to adding to our collection as we spread out into other states, exploring and seeing what they have. We have mapped two overland routes. The first one was Arkansas Overland Route Trailhawk Loop. We have videos for each sections of that route, which equaled 27 sections. These sections are mapped on the Onyx Off-Road app. We also mapped the Washita National Forest Overland Route. This goes through four sections of the Washita National Forest. Two are on the east side of Highway 71 and two are on the west side of Highway 71. This includes Poto Mountain Auto Tour. Videos for each section of these routes are also on our YouTube channel and they are mapped and live on the Onyx Off-Road app. The Onyx Off-Road app provides pictures difficulty levels, information, and more about each of the sections along these routes. We also have other routes mapped on Onyx Off-Road, so if you get the app, you will find that there's plenty to explore using the app.
off the main road up this trail here to this campsite that we found. I don't know what this was. Nice campsite. Room for a few vehicles. Somebody left their barbecue grill here. Little rain, fire rain. There's a trail that goes back up behind. But we're just going to throw some sandwiches together and then we're going to continue our route to Hickory Nut. Starting to warm up a little bit, not too bad. There's plenty of room here you can set a ground tent up too. We'll talk at you later.